In this cool sculpting training video, we will discuss how to use the cool fit applicator on the inner thigh. Topics include how to assess the inner thigh, plan the treatment with markings, place the applicator, and position the patient. For the right candidate, the cool fit applicator can be used to contour and slim the inner thigh. During treatment, the cool fit vacuum applicator will draw tissue between two cold plates and deliver uniform cooling to the treatment area. Patient selection and assessment are essential to ensuring consistent and aesthetically pleasing outcomes. A medical provider should examine the patient for evidence of a pre-existing femoral hernia during the consultation. Ideal candidates will have a distinct pocket of fat that presents directly below the pelvic floor of the inner thigh. The goal for treatment is to minimize the presentation of the bulge. Deviating from the correct treatment protocol may cause irregular outcomes. Here are some of the outcomes you can expect when following the recommended treatment. Before the patient arrives, prepare the treatment room. Clean the marking pen, applicator planning template, and the top of the cool fit applicator with alcohol. Place an absorbent pad on top of the system to keep the surface clean. Attach the cool fit applicator and purple cycle card. Insert the liner into the applicator cup. Turn on the system and ensure that both the applicator and card have been authenticated. Use a protective cover to keep the treatment bed clean. On the treatment day, the patient should wear disposable underwear or bathing suit bottoms. Weigh the patient and take baseline 360 degree photos using the foot positioning guide. When taking photos of the inner thigh, widen the patient's stance to more clearly see the gap between the thighs. To clearly see the treatment area during the assessment, ask the patient to stand farther than hip width apart. Sit at eye level to the treatment area and assess from behind, focusing on the midline to posterior of the leg. Tissue on the inner thigh will generally present as a straight line at or behind the midline of the thigh. The vacuum naturally draws more anterior tissue into the cup in this treatment area. Therefore, when assessing, pinch behind the midline of the inner thigh directly below the pelvic floor. Visually confirm the presence of a bulge. If a bulge is not present, the patient is not an ideal candidate for treatment of the inner thigh. Use the Cool Fit Applicator Planning Template to confirm that the tissue falls within the cooling plates of the applicator. If the bulge is too short or too long, the patient is not an ideal candidate for treatment of the inner thigh. Inner thigh asymmetry is common. Discuss differences in fat distribution with the patient, as it will affect the marking and placement of the applicator. Before marking the patient, wipe the treatment area with alcohol to remove excess oil or lotion from the skin. Favor placement from midline to posterior. Place the cool fit applicator template vertically down the leg directly beneath the pelvic floor. Draw a line from one end of the template to the other, extending the line one inch or 2.5 centimeters at the bottom. Mark the end of the template to help position the applicator at the correct angle. Mark the bottom cooling panel and remove the template. Extend the cooling panel line, step away, and visually confirm the treatment markings. When preparing to place the applicator, move the system close to the seat of the treatment bed and lock the wheel casters. Ask the patient to hold onto the railings of the system for support. They should stand with their legs farther than hip width apart, placing the leg that is not being treated on a stool. 
have the patient bend at the waist to give you optimal access to the treatment area. Gently drape the gel pad on the patient directly below the pelvic floor. Use the back of your fingers to smooth the gel pad and eliminate wrinkles and air bubbles. Bring the applicator through the legs and engage the vacuum by pressing the vacuum button on the applicator touchpad. Recommended settings for the vacuum are 60, 75, and 60. Apply the applicator straight on following the treatment markings. Do not rock or roll the applicator into place. The patient will feel sensations of deep pulling, tugging, and pinching as the applicator draws the tissue. Verify that the gel pad is extended past the applicator's cooling panels and check to see that there is sufficient contact with the cooling panels. If the placement is incorrect, turn off a vacuum, remove the applicator, replace the gel pad, and repeat the applicator placement process. To deliver therapeutic cold to the treatment area, tissue must make contact with the cooling panels. Maximum tissue exposure to the cooling panels will result in a greater opportunity for fat cell death. After you confirm tissue draw, allow the patient to step off the stool. Help the patient onto the treatment bed. Get the patient in a comfortable position, making sure the applicator does not move during transition. Secure the applicator in the support arm. Use pillows to support the applicator and improve the comfort of the patient. After the patient is in position, engage cooling. Common side effects include an intense cold, tingling, stinging, aching, and cramping as the cooling begins. These sensations generally subside as the area becomes numb. Use the Cool Sculpting Treatment Planning Form to record the details of the procedure, including patient weight, applicator, placement, and general patient observations. Return to the room before treatment ends and talk to the patient about what to expect during the applicator removal process. Immediately after cooling has ended, turn off the vacuum. Release the vacuum seal by sliding your finger between the patient's skin and the edges of the applicator cup. Remove the single-use gel pad, and begin to administer a two-minute massage. Begin the post-treatment massage immediately after the treatment ends to manipulate the fat cells when they are at their most crystallized state. In the first minute, vigorously knead the treatment area. In the second minute, apply a deep pressure massage in a circular motion. Before the patient leaves, wipe the residual gel from the treatment area and remove markings using alcohol and a gauze sponge. Educate patients on what to expect after treatment. In the days and weeks following treatment, the patient may experience redness, bruising, swelling, tenderness, cramping, and aching. Sensations of itching, skin sensitivity, or numbness can last several weeks after treatment. These sensations are normal, but instruct them to contact you if they worsen over time. Patients may begin to see results in as early as three weeks, but will experience the most dramatic results between one and three months. With a variety of applicators, the Cool Sculpting System allows you to create customized treatment plans to fit the individual needs of your patients. The Cool Fit applicator is preferred for treatment of the inner thigh. For ideal patient outcomes, determine if the patient is a good candidate for treatment. Assess the treatment area while the patient is standing. Identify a bulge directly below the pelvic floor. Use the applicator planning template to ensure that the bulge fits the applicator cooling panels. Assess from behind and place the applicator midline to posterior. Position the patient so they are holding onto the system with their feet farther than hip width apart. The leg that is not being treated should be placed on a stool. Bend the patient at the waist for better access to the treatment area. Apply the single-use gel pad. Bring the applicator through the legs. 
Engage the vacuum and apply the applicator following the treatment markings. Help the patient get into a comfortable position on the treatment bed. Initiate cooling only after the patient is comfortable. Immediately after cooling has ended, administer a two-minute manual massage. Bring the patient back after 30 days for a follow-up medical assessment to review the results, reassess, and determine if additional treatments are needed. Treatment of the inner thigh may take more than one treatment session, so set expectations with the patient during the consultation. To make the cool sculpting procedure successful in your practice, properly educate patients on what they can expect during and after treatment. Deliver transformational results by performing a 360 degree assessment and developing a customized treatment plan. Provide the patient with a positive experience by creating a relaxed and welcoming environment. Thank you for partnering with us. We look forward to helping you make the cool sculpting procedure a success in your practice. Results and patient experiences may vary. During the procedure, the patient may experience deep pulling, tugging, pinching, numbness, or discomfort. Following the procedure, typical side effects include temporary numbness, redness, swelling, bruising, firmness, tingling, stinging, and pain. Rare side effects may also occur. The cool sculpting procedure is not for everyone. Patients should not have the cool sculpting procedure if they suffer from cryoglobulinemia or paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria. The cool sculpting procedure is not a treatment for obesity. As with any medical procedure, a consultation should be done by a licensed physician to determine if the patient is a candidate for treatment. Consult the Cool Sculpting System user manual for a complete list of contraindications and potential side effects. Treatment applications that deviate from the guidelines are not recommended.